think you grinding hard inside the studio inside the label yeah it'll work you but you gotta understand if you if you independent you grind it just as hard you just don't have the cameras in your face you got at least one camera in your face your phone or your laptop you don't have cameras on you yet but just a camera or two you know what I'm saying just a camera or two and it's wild yo cause I understand like how part of this could get frustrating because you'll be you'll be going ham for a minute and nothing to happen you know what I say if that if that's the case go cheese go ham and cheese go ham and cheese on them it's like okay I went cheese you know what I mean the algorithms love that that's what they push they want that they want that lovey dovey love story love song that's what the system want but that's not what the people want for real because when I go to check it you know what I mean they ain't even letting the chorus go by Who, whoever checking it out whatever's checking it out is only checking it out for like two seconds man not two but like 30 seconds something something wild like that but it'll be like you know what I mean a hundred and something views 200 and something views in like two days and I'm like look you know, thank you on both sides. But you got to look at the back screens to find out what's really going on. I'm like, would well, y'all don't like this? All right. And it looks like based on, the, you know what I mean, the numbers or whatever, is what, is, is what the algorithm may have wanted. But then when I go, it just be like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get in my other bag. I'm going to get in my 90s bag. And I'm going to just start, you know what I mean? Like basing it only on what I want to hear What I like to hear How I like to do it Not making no allowances I don't care if you get it I don't care if you catch the bar I don't care if you catch the beat I'm just going Those those seem to be the ones They don't get They don't really get pushed like that they'll, 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 Their views will be real low But the like ratio will be supernaturally high So it'll be like It'll be almost like 3-4 on them Like the video it, it'll be something i really want to do like my bag like okay i'm about to just i'm about to just go for me i ain't gonna necessarily cater this one it'll only get like four or five views but inside of that it'll be like four or five likes like the ratio be that high and i'm like those is the ones i need to be making more of all these ones that fit the genre of hip-hop as the um the technocracy or whatever the case or as digitalia as the algorithms would, would dictate it yeah people are talking about relations they're talking about you know men and women they talk about luxury extravagance yeah they are but i'm not doing that to um say that that's what my swag is that's not what the style wars is about it's about bringing a whole different style to hip hop, like a whole different touch to it. And there's a war because the oversaturation is crazy. Even so much now to the point where, look, they're expecting it to go one way. If I want it to just be automatically, you know what I mean, that thing, then it's gonna have to be what other hip hoppers are doing, like the way they do it. And that's not how I do hip hop, yo. Like, I go in, I like to go in the most weirdest bags possible. You know what I mean? I don't care how, like, how regular it is. Or how, how, you know what I mean? How regular the hottest sound is. I don't want to sound like nobody. I say, well, you know what I mean? It's about, you know, being relevant. Nah, I don't feel like being relevant. I don't like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, being relevant is already old what's, what's happening now is already old that's already out they're not even looking for rappers no more that's that's how faded the very new stuff is that's how quickly that shelf life died on that 
went to go buy it at the store. The expiration date didn't I didn't pay attention. It had already expired, but it was still on the shelf. It just came off the shelf, but it's expired already. That's a new hip hop. And I'm one of the legends that's willing to admit that, yeah, I dabbled in those different styles, triplet flows from time to time. Just to be like, yeah, I'm a rhymer's rhymer. And we like those kind of challenges. Like, oh, let's go ahead and do that. You know what I mean? Because the triplet flow ain't nothing new to us. We came up in the, the Freestyle Fellowship, Bone Thugs and Harmony era. So by the time Drill came, we was already familiar with the triplets enough. You know what I mean? You do your history on hip hop. And there's probably groups bef even before Freestyle Fellowship that was probably on the triplet flow too. I mean, you got to start thinking about groups like X-Clan. Some of those, a lot of those rants from Lord Finesse, a lot of those rants from Master Ace, a lot of those rants from Dougie Fresh. The triplet flow is not new, but it got burnt out very, very quickly. It's almost what they tried to blame T-Pain for. And for the record, T-Pain did not mess up the auto-tune. He merged it right because what he brought was real musicianship and that's never going to go out of style so nah t-pain ain't mess up nothing he could have still been doing auto-tune right now he was making good music with a lot of the rendition of this new hip-hop is it's not music at all so much so you get a project like utopia and it's automatically going to be associated with trying to be like an artist from the last era if you try it so they're like yeah we the, the travis scott utopia is creative but that's just kanye's my dark twisted you know what i mean a lot of people are saying this and when you listen to them both it's like all right yeah well of course the artist is going to be one artist is going to be influenced by another if they there's going to be that crossover like that yeah you're trading swordsmanship you're trading notes you're building ain't nothing wrong with that but to come out with something that's very, very creative like that is so rare. And still, the people who are being most creative, you still not even hear them, you know what I mean, about them like that. See, the way it is, this is supposed to be exactly the opposite. Everybody that you don't hear from that's at the bottom, you know what I mean, that's got, getting like 15 views a video, those is really the leaders of the game. But they're the leaders of the new version that's coming. And we're bringing what that new hip hop is, whatever it is. You know, I'm trying to go toward rhythmless, beatless, because anything with a drop got a guard and a gate on it. Now it's like as soon as you hit the 808, oh here it go about the. You don't even get 10 seconds, even if you spit something real. You got to come right out of the gate with your own style, your own sound, and you got to be really trying to bring this on them in like between three and five seconds. Less than a goldfish. Less than a goldfish. A goldfish can hang in there with you for eight seconds, but let you claim you hip hop or music and they hear a certain sound and a certain drop in order to get them to continue to pay attention. It's almost like you got to have them thinking that you a whole nother artist before you start rhyming. And I know that that's the sauce to, to get you pushed, but that's not what my brand is about. I got to stick to my guns. I don't care if I'm getting one like a year. I am going to succeed with this. Like on some on some on some rust status like just like this. You know what I mean? But just going so hard and pushing so much content that you got that you got to notice me. That you hear the you hear the content, you hear the bars, you hear the structure. You know what I mean? And I ain't even stuck in the trap of trying to just make songs on y'all all day either. No, I'm just, I'm bringing the swordsmanship, bringing the real, because this is hip hop. So it used to be about how clever can you say something and how meaningful could it be? That's what, that's what it used to be about. It wasn't about how many people you could slide on and how many different things that you acquired. <clears throat> it used to have nothing to do with that. It was you as a lyricist, if it's going to be in that way, you're expressing how great of a lyricist you are than the other person. You don't care if both of y'all got Benzes. You don't care if both of y'all got Ferraris. You don't care if both of y'all rich. You don't care if both of y'all broke. Whatever you rhyming about that you about to crush your opponent on don't got nothing to do with things. You letting them know that you the better MC, that you the better artist, that you the better producer. A lot of us is 
on the low, slick ricking it. And not everybody could slick rick it, even if they got access to the technology. You don't hear all this kind of synchronicity and stretches of creativity between the artist and the producer. Slick Rick, Young World, that was like all him. Like he was doing the beat in the background and all that. His own ad libs, all of that. Visionaries move like that. We ain't waiting for producers. I ain't. I don't, I don't need your beat. Keep your beat. If it's gonna sound like everybody else, then put everybody else on it. You know what I mean? My instrumentals is out there. I wanted to be something that you ain't even trying to hop on. You're like, man, I don't know what 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 is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, that's mine. That's what it is. I want to come out that different because that's what it takes right now. They're saying hip hop is dead. And here I am over here with a whole new untapped version of hip hop all together. Yo, my stuff clean on the Rakim level. On the Rakim level, I ain't even using profanity, yo. Like how how much more authentic do y'all need it to be? But I tell you what, it's just because the current digital recognition of what hip hop is does not understand this yet or has not pushed it to enough in mass. They're afraid that maybe or just it's foreign. You know what I mean? It takes reality time to adjust to the kind of hip hop that I'm bringing. It's like, ah, we don't know what to think of it yet. That's good. Because that once upon a time, that's how it was. But you heard it over and over and over and over. And then you got entranced with being either on the club, being either in the club or on the block, shooting a sliding, robbing somebody, whatever, just, just rock star. But it's like, yo, look at how much more happens in life, though, than that. And these things go on tap. So here we are over here bringing other kind of reality to it. And I'm just going to put it on my back and, 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 and Superman up and be like, look, if I got to outproduce every group out there, of course, I'm saying this is impossible, though, because, uh, you know, countless of them are grinding real hard. But this is my mentality. This is the energy that I'm bringing into it. I'm going to outgrind whoever your best rap- rapper is, because that's going to take care of all of the rappers that's under them. Whoever your best rapper is, you got to compare me to him in any group. Whoever your best of, across all time. And I won't stop. I won't stop coming before you until both the respect and the money matches that reality. So, or oh, I'll die. You know what I mean? It's only going to be those two realities. That's the kind of mentality that I'm bringing into it. I don't care how many new rappers come. I don't care if they say hip hop is dead. I don't care if they say, you know, just rap itself is banned. Not this. This is deeper than rap, like they say. This is deeper than music. This is spoken word, though. This passes for more than one thing. Because I'm I'm, I'm trying to adjust people to going rhythmless, where they get back into musing over things, pondering. We don't just have to just start bopping our heads all the time and looking for the head nod all the time. No, we need to just be still and listen. The kind of, the kind of music that just... You driving G'd up. I'm not... I, I, I'm 41. I ain't making music for the club. I'm I'm not making music for for necessarily anybody that's just jumping in the club. I'm not making music for my 21 year old version of myself because I wanted to just you know I me mean, hear the music, be in the lights of you know if I'm out out and about wherever. But I ain't at that stage now. Now I'm at the stage of just training visionaries to keep the world from falling apart on them and living in the wasteland. We already in a dystopia. But a wasteland comes next And I'm trying to Do my part To spark whatever kind of minds I can To prevent that from happening Like Will Smith said in um, I Am Legend I can still fix this I know zombies running around everywhere around this month But I can still fix this This is ground zero 